Hello, welcome to this episode of Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Today is a thoughtful, optimistic Thursday, September 12th. Hello, I'm Casey. And hi, I'm Lalit. Source Sycamore Junior High with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Thank you for being responsible and showing your creative problem solving skills. It is now time to be respectful and stand with our fellow aviators to place our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. You are all incredible individuals. Keep being positive and making this an awesome place to grow. Okay, all students, check your emails today during Flex or Study Hall and stay up to, to date with cleaning your electronic mailbox. If you need help, please ask a teacher, staff member, or knowledgeable student to help you manage your email. And be sure to get in the habit of checking it every day. Make sure to check out the video from Assistant Principal Ms. Helms. She shared a video reviewing the PBIS website and the Point Reward Store. Make sure that you're getting your points and start working towards a prize. Seventh grade football. Congratulations to the Sycamore seventh grade football team. They had a huge win last night on the road against Hamilton. 24-0. Quarterback Ethan Siney threw two touchdown passes to both Nate Monahan and Josh Queen. James Merrick also took care of things on the ground with a rushing TD. The defense held a shutout with an interception by Caden Postler and a fumble recovery by Andrew Skidmore. Good job, Aves. Okay, next. It's clubs and activities announcements time. Hello, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Carter. Uh, we are here with some <laughs> clubs and activities announcements. Math club. If you're interested in joining math club this year to compete in local and national competitions with other school teams, the first meeting will be on Wednesday, September 18th, after school in Mr. Miles' rooms 2204. Meetings will be each Wednesday after school. No need to sign up in advance, just show up. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Miles at milesj at sycamoreschools.org. Power of the pen. Participating in Power of the Pen allows students to express themselves creatively through the power of writing. Being on a team of people you share a passion for writing for is so much fun. I loved being on a team of people who shared my passion of writing just because it made writing in a whole so much better. I absolutely loved Power of the Pen because all of the writing prompts were really fun and creative. Help broaden my creativity in so many different ways. Power of the Pen helps me get outside my creative comfort zone and write about things I'm not really used to writing. I made so many new friends, had so many great experiences, and learned so many new things along the way. I understand a lot more about stories, their structures, and the characters from the help and guidance that coaches and judges have given me throughout the year. Another great thing about Power of the Pen is that you can get some really awesome feedback on your writing from a different point of view. With guidance from my Power of the Pen coach, I not only improved my writing skills, but I became able to write engaging, genuine stories. Other young writers, such as myself, will continue to improve their writing and make many new friends in Power of the Pen. One thing is for certain, Power of the Pen has been a wonderful experience that I will never forget, and I look forward to sharing my stories with the world. I love this organization and everything they did for me, and I know you will too. Hi everybody, my name is Sage. I was in Power of the Pen back in 2004 or 2005. Um, and the reason Power of the Pen means so much to me is because it forced me to start writing. And to this day, I think the hardest thing about writing is just getting started. And not only does Power of the Pen force you to start writing, it forces you to trust yourself. You just have to go, go, go and create. Um, and I think that's a great habit to get into. Keep writing, keep trusting yourself, and you'll, you'll just keep getting better. Because the only way to get better at writing is to write.
Power of the Pen info session next Monday, September 16th from 3.30 to 4.30 in Miss Huff's room, room 2212. If you can't make the meeting but are interested, please email Ms. Huff at huffr at sycamoreschools.org. Beach Bash. Prizes this week up for grabs in the raffle for those who get donations are two Roblox gift cards, one V-Bucks gift cards, desktop fridge, high school sports tickets, and we're currently at $17,165. I mean, we can be better than that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 50000 is light. Go out and get five people to give you $10. Yeah. Just go out and get people to contribute $50. I mean, it can be like five people for $10, two people for 25 I mean, it's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now over to our counselors. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. The counselors are here today. Mr. Brenner, Mrs. Suter, and Mrs. Morris. Uh, we'll be sharing some helpful information throughout the remainder of the school year on video announcements as well as through email. So make sure you are always checking and reading your email. Today, the counseling department would like to introduce ourselves, let you know where, we, where, where to find us and how to best access us during the school day. So I'm Mr. Brenner, and I work with students' last names A through G. So if your last name's anywhere A through G, I'm your go-to guy. Uh, you might also be asking, though, why would we even see our counselor? We help support you with all things academic, could be grades, scheduling, career exploration items, social concerns with friends, so we, any of those dilemmas that pop up, we want to help you with that, to personal issues that you may be experiencing and need some help with. Pretty much any challenge that pops up throughout the year, we are here to help you troubleshoot it. And I'm going to let Mrs. Suter talk about the process on how to come see us. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Suter. I cover all the last names H through N. So if you decide you want to see one of us, there are a couple different ways to connect. A lot of students like to email us to request a meeting, which is totally fine. Other students will let their teacher know they'd like to see us, and then they'll send you down to see us or uh, schedule a meeting. They could call us. Another way is that you could just stop down on your own between classes to request a meeting. We are in the same hallway as the nurse, so if you know where that is located. There are going to be times that we're not available right away though, and we won't be able to meet with you when you come down. So if that's the case, we do have little notes that you can fill out um, that Mrs. Manning has in her office, and she is that first office in the hallway. And then you just write your name down, any message that you would need to leave, and we'll connect with you as soon as we can. We will often send you passes or call your teacher to send you down as well. Even if you don't request it, it might be for a different reason. So we're here to support you if you receive a pass from us. We are just connecting with you. And now it's Mrs. Morris's turn to let you know where you can find us. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Morris and I work with students who have last names that start with the letters O to Z as well as all of the ESL students. The counseling offices are located on the second floor by the nurse's office. The check-in station is right outside of the first office. Mrs. Manning will check to see if we're available and then direct you to our offices. Some great time to see us are during flex time, during a study hall, or in between bells. We may also meet with you during class and we'll always write you a pass back to class when we're finished talking. We hope you've had a great start to the school year and we look forward to working with you. Feel free to stop down and say hello. Have a great day, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for the day. And now back to our other crew. International Club. Come join the International Club. International Club is for everyone who wants to learn about and experience different cultures. You don't have to speak a foreign language. The most fun part is sampling ethnic foods from different countries. You're guaranteed to get snacks every time. After all, food is the primary part of every culture, right? We play games, make presentations, make crafts, and do other fun things. If you're, inter if you're interested, email Miss Wolford Sensei at wolfordm at sycamoreschools.org. The Flight Crew. Join Flight Crew to build a school environment where everyone is feels inspired, feels safe, and leaves are filled at the end of the day. They meet on Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15 in room 1261. Email Mr. Rodriguez at rodriguezd at sycamoreschools.org for an application or scan this QR code that is located on the Aviator Airways SJHS News Crew YouTube channel. Mark your calendars! Spear Week is next week. Starting this Sunday, September 15th, is the High School Homecoming Parade and Community Tailgate. 
beginning at 4 p.m. at the Sycamore High School. Homecoming Spirit Week activities that we share with the high school start on Monday, September 16th. That is Merca Monday, where red, white, and blue to support America. Tuesday, September 17th, pick your favorite. You could dress up for a warm summer day or a cold winter night. On Wednesday, September 18th, you get to dress like in a, one of the Olympic rings. You can either wear yellow, blue, red, or green. The staff will be wearing black. On September 9th, on Thursday, September 19th, is Jersey Thursday. Wear your favorite jersey of any sports team. And, and Friday, September 20th, is when the A's will go for gold. It is game day. Wear the green and gold to support the A's. Also, next Friday, September 20th, is our Beach Bash. We will have a special schedule for the day that we will share closer to that day. Keep getting donations to reach our $50,000 goal. Wear green and gold to go. Get registered and turn in your donations and think flamingos. And are you Team Mr. Meyer and Pinky or Team Principal Shunk and her flamingo? Because I'm definitely Team Mr. Meyer and Pinky. I am I am team Mr. Meyer and Pinky also. Let's see if Ms. Shunk can prove us wrong. Ohio Tech Day, presented by Meta, is on Friday, September 27th. If you're interested in teaming with Ohio on learning tech, email Ms. Jarvis. October 2nd is the first Partners Club meeting with Ms. Lisa in room 1260 after the school from 3 to 4 p.m. Friday, October 11th, is the first quarter grade period end date, so make sure to keep your grades strong and finish the first quarter with hard work and determination. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Trevor W., Avery C., Nolan T., Azusa D., and Shri H. G. And staff member, Mr. Wolf. Enjoy celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. How do you make a bandstand? I don't know. How? You take away the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that was upstanding. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, make positive choices, open your mind to new learning, and meet a new friend, and go Aves!